This is the life cycle of a star. I will be showing a star 50 times the size of our sun. First, we start off with a nebula, which is a big space cloud of dust and gas. Our star ends up being 50 times the mass of the sun, so our nebula has lots of materials. Nebulas can be tens of parsecs across. This one will be very massive. Over the span of years and years, gravity slowly pulls the nebula together then breaks apart into small nebula clumps, all while being under a huge amount of pressure and heating up, and creates star systems, which turn into protostars, which are baby stars. Wow! What do you know? This is the beginning stage of its life, so as soon as the protostar is formed, nuclear fusion takes place. Nuclear fusion is when a star starts to take lighter elements and fuse them together to make a he heavier elements. The first element fused together is hydrogen, which is turned into helium, combining two hydrogen atoms to make a helium atom. When this happens, a massive amount of energy is released. This energy pushes the star outward, expanded, expanding it and causing it to increase in size. At the same time, gravity is fighting against it by pushing the star inwards. The two forces are in constant battle and the nuclear fusion it makes the star slowly expand while the gravity while gravity is constantly pulling the star inward trying to collapse in on itself. When the star is fusing hydrogen atoms into helium, it is considered a main sequence star. This is 50 times the mass of our sun. It would also be towards the blue side of a color spectrum because it is hotter than a smaller star. So you might be wondering what happens after the star runs out of hydrogen to fuse into helium. Well, it takes helium and it fuses into carbon and our star has enough mass to continue fusing into other heavier elements. And this cycle of fusing, these have these heavier elements into even heavier ones all while the star keeps expanding through the energy from nuclear, nuclear fusion, continuing to be produced and overpowering gravity enough to slowly expand. As the expansion continues, the star continues to cool down in, and turns into a redder color. Since the temperature is decreasing, when the star starts burning, it's created atoms so when it starts burning, it's helium it enters the next stage of the next stage of life, a red supergiant. This star is so huge and it continues expanding until it fuses iron. It's a trap! The problem with our star fusing iron is it takes more energy to fuse iron than the, new, than, than the fusion produces. This means as soon as it fuses iron, the energy pushing outward from the nuclear fusion stops and the gravity wins the battle within the star. This causes the star to collapse in on itself and explodes into a supernova in less than a second. Because of how big our mass star was, the explosion leaves behind a black hole. If it was a smaller star, star, it would have left a neutron star. The time has come. Execute order 66. So now we have a black hole. In the middle, it appears black because of no light is able to escape from it. Gravity is so strong in the black hole that nothing can escape from it and is in infinitely collapsing in on itself because nothing can escape from it. No heat is being released so it's extremely cold. But the ring around it is however extremely hot. Along with the black hole that is left behind from a supernova, we are left with a new nebula. And that's the end of this video. If you truly want to know what's inside a black hole, make sure to click down below in the description to find out.